Hello and welcome friends. I hope everybody's having a great day so far. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're back, welcome back. I greatly appreciate all the ongoing support. This is my channel, Dragon's Jewels, Dragon's Jewel Creative Gems, and I'm Tegan. And of course I'm just going to get all that wonderful YouTube stuff out of the way first. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please consider doing so. It's just down below there. If you like the content that you see, don't forget to give it that like as well. And of course, any love, comments, suggestion, suggestions, I can apparently not talk today. Um, give me done so in the comment section below. And today I'm doing another Diamond Art Club unboxing, which of course I will mention that I am an affiliate. Um, so if you shop Diamond Art Club, this is of no extra cost to you, but there is a link down below that you can follow. You make your purchases like normal. Any products that are eligible may give the channel a small commission, which is always greatly appreciated because then that can help me cover the costs of some of the kits that I unbox, some of the small shops that I make, um, small, some of those crafty hauls or any kind of upgrades that the channel needs. That sort of wonderful stuff. But now we're going to get around to my mystery box number five. Um, this is the third canvas that I received. The third one was going to end up being one that was kind of a fan favorite or that they had an overstock of that sort of thing. I got super lucky with mine. It is a Marvel Spider-Man one. How fun is that? But that is the image on the box. So super, super cool. Um, it's even got Spider-Gwen in it. Um, so this should be a fun one to work up. When I received it, my first thought was, I don't even know who's going to want this canvas more. My husband or my son. <laughs> um, not that my son watches Spider-Man at all. But he loves Spider-Man, just the, just, I think it's the, the red and the blue and the spider webbing and all of that. And so he just really loves kind of the look of Spider-Man more so than anything else. But um, he loves that kind of stuff. My husband has seen it and he kind of went, ooh, so it might become his. Um, we'll see. Either way, I'll be the one working on it. <laughs> They'll get it when it's finished, sort of thing. But um, so you're gonna have your small sticker with the artwork name, the artist or where they've licensed it from, the diamond shape and size of the canvas, which I don't even think I mentioned. I got so excited I just broke right into it. But it is a square. And it's a 20 inch by 29 inch or a 50.8 centimeters by 73.7 centimeters. So it's a nice size. It's a nice size. Um, here's your tool kit. Uh, which, of course, you'll have your tray. And normally you're supposed to get a 4 and 7 multi-placer, but apparently I am getting double 7 multi-placers. That's a first. <laughs> Not that I mind. That's just, yeah, kind of fun, interesting. <laughs> um, baggies that you can get, up, get down in. Your heart caddy with two pieces of heart wax inside of it. Because it's a square, you'll get their Diamond Art Club branded tweezers as well to use. Your pen color, which is always random. This one's a lovely purple. I'm not even going to fight to put that together right now. I've got this wonderful purple rose, which I feel like I just opened a kit with that, which I probably did. But <laughs> gorgeous purple rose. Then this gorgeous purple kind of bluish green floral washi tape. Very, very nice. Put that off to the side as well. Tuck all this away and out of the way for now. And then of course we take a peek at our canvas. Ooh, 
then of course you'll have their thank you pamphlet which has a message from the company just saying thank you there's a bunch of QR codes in here if you are using the app for the first time there's a discount code there's just a general discount code for the website you've got written instructions for how to diamond paint tips tricks what's all included in the kit then you've also got a QR code for the step-by-step -step diamond painting instructions there's a QR code for the VIP Diamond Art Club VIP Facebook group, which is an awesome resource if you're new to Diamond Art Club or diamond painting in general. They're a very community-based group. You can vote on upcoming images that will hopefully get turned into kits. You'll see lots of Diamond Art Club kits being worked on and completed, and you'll see a bunch of people talking about tips and tricks that they've learned a lot along the way. It's a great place to ask questions about diamond painting in general and getting those tips and tricks that maybe you just haven't learned yet. So really great resource. Um, definitely check out if you can. Then of course you'll get your large sticker which has all your kidding up stickers. If you just trim it off there you can use it in a log book and then it's got your art name where it's licensed. This one you can put your start end date on. The larger thumbnail, diamond shape and size of the canvas. So I'm just going to bring it up so you can just see those wonderful details in the Spider-Man. Like how can you not love that? That's If you are a Marvel Spider-Man fan, this is a definitely a fun canvas to get. Um, I'm just going to put the sticker off to the side. I'm not going to go open up the drills. But you can already see there's going to be a decent amount of black. Of course you're going to get those blues and those reds because it's Spider-Man. even got some white, yellow in there. There's a tiny bit of pink. I see a tiny bit of brown in there. Kind of a brownie orange is also in there. There's a tiny bit of purple. Um, but yeah, you can just see there's lots of wonderful colors in there that I think that those blacks will definitely, uh, definitely kind of uh, accent and that deep blue, that navy blue, and then they've kind of got like a little bit of a gray blue in there. So lots and lots of wonderful colors. And of course, we'll unroll the canvas, get her rolled up the opposite direction here so she'll lay a little flat for me. And then you can see the image a little bit better. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. These canvases will self-flatten over time. I just do it for the video so it kind of cooperates and behaves a little bit more. Um, but here she is. There you go. You got your Spider-Man. All of that going on here. Top, bottom, the moon, the buildings. Like, I just, this is really a really great Spider Man type scene. If I scroll up here, you'll come down towards the bottom. Right there, going on, there is quite a bit of multi placing that you can do, especially in the background. Here, you've got even multi placing along your lines, right, kind of in this area where that door is. There's going to be a little bit more kind of confetti when you're coming to the characters in kind of this area. And kind of this stuff here, there's a little bit, a little bit more kind of when they've got their um, costuming going on as well. There's a little bit more kind of confetti, but absolutely gorgeous. I, oh my god, I got so excited I didn't even tell you how many ABs are in this one. <laughs> uh, I tell you, I'm just jumping all over the place on this one. I am sorry guys. I just really wanted to show this. So in Diamond Art Club, anything above 150 is considered an AB or Aurora Borealis. That's just a diamond with an extra kind of iridescent coating on it. In this one, there are four. Four of them. Yes, so there's quite a few, which will be amazing. And of course, Spider-Man, some of his red is in ABs. I can see that right away. Um, the other one is definitely a lot right up here in this moon. Definitely quite a bit there. Um, your other one is 
kind of end some of the blade work uh, where it would be highlighted, where the light would kind of shine off of it. There's some there. And then the other one is white, which once again, you're going to see in the moon. You're going to see a bit in the costuming. You'll see represented in kind of like the little stars in the sky. Um, see that in Spider-Man's eyes. You'll see that also down here at the bottom in her eyes and kind of a little bit along her costuming where the light maybe will hit um, but definitely this one is going to be a fun one to work up and I can't wait um, I might have to be a nerd and maybe watch one of the Spider-Man movies when I'm uh, working on this one but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and I of course will see everybody in the next video with something new bye